Hello, everyone. I want to welcome everyone to Love Ministry Sunday Worship. Hey, how's everyone doing? How's Taeyeonhee doing? How's Andrew doing? How are you, Chris? How are you, Charmini? How are you, Sungugi? How are you, Caleb? And Joshua, how are you doing? Good? Very good. I'm so glad that you guys are doing well. Hey, the weather is so nice outside. So I hope that you get to enjoy the good weather with your family now. But today, what's the today's date? Yes, today is the day we get to worship God together. So let's go ahead and focus our heart and mind to worship God together. Please join me in a prayer. Close your eyes and do a prayer hand. Let's pray together. Let not the flood sweep over me, or the deep swallow me up, or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is good. According to your abandoned mercy, turn to me. Amen. Dear Father God, thank you so much for being with us this week and giving us um, everything that we need. Thank you so much for giving us our loving parents, our brothers and sisters, and uh, everyone that who loves us very much. Therefore, we want to uh, focus our heart and mind to praise you and worship you. Please accept our worship and give us your spirit, give us your heavenly blessing to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From then he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
God of love I can see it in the stars that shine And the birds above I can feel it in our hearts so tight The wonder of your love God, you Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Are you guys now ready to listen to the Word of God? Let's go ahead and open up our Bible. And get into the Word of God together. Today's message is titled, Jesus Walks on Water. Jesus Walks on Water. Okay, guys, picture this. I want you to imagine yourself in the, being in the middle of a stormy sea. I'm sure it's going to be a scary situation, but there's only one person who could give us the comfort and who's able to help us. And guess who that is? Yes, that is our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus' disciples were in a similar situation, so let me tell you their story today. You guys remember the story that Jesus feed 5,000 people? Yes, Jesus was compassionate about the people who were hungry. So Jesus turned a two fish and five loaf of bread, and he did a, a great miracle to feed at least 5,000 people. So after this great event, Jesus sent his disciple on a boat to be on the other side of the lake. And... Jesus went up to the mountain by himself to pray while his disciples were at the uh, sea. However, there was a large uh, storm, big storm and big wave. So the disciples were tossing around by waves in the sea, in the middle of the sea. Oh no, what should we do with the, with the, with the big wave? Then they saw somebody walking on water and coming towards them. And they got all scared and they, they thought it was a ghost. Oh no, it's a ghost. Somebody is walking on water and coming towards us. But it turns out to be Jesus. Jesus was coming to them by walking on water. And Jesus said, but immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. So according to today's Bible verse, which is Matthew chapter 14, 27, 
Jesus said to them, it is me, so therefore don't be afraid. And as soon as the disciples found out it was Jesus who was walking on water and walking towards them, they were happy because they know it was their master, it was Lord Jesus. They weren't afraid, they weren't afraid anymore. But one of the disciples, Peter, asked Jesus, Peter, Jesus, please command me to come to you uh, on water. And Jesus said, come. So Peter, by believing in Jesus, he began to walk on water just like Jesus. Wow, have you guys seen anything like that? We understand Jesus can walk on water because he's son of God. But Peter was just a normal man, just like you and I. And by having a faith, in Jesus, he was able to walk on water. But soon, Peter saw a big wave, and therefore he got scared, so he began to drown. And immediately, Jesus reached his hand and pulled uh, Peter out of the water and saved him, and said, Oh, you little face, why did you doubt? So Peter got scared by looking at the wave, and he had doubt in his heart. And after that, Jesus pulled him out, and they were both on the boat, and both, both got the, the wave and storm got calm after that. And after this incident, Jesus his disciples realized their master, that Jesus wasn't just a good teacher. He was just a, just a mere man. They realized that Jesus was truly a son of God. So this was the first event the disciple. Uh, first confess that Jesus to be a son of God. So I want you to think about this and uh, take this lesson out of today's Bible story. Number one, Peter walked on water by having faith in Jesus. Once again, Peter wasn't a special man. He was just a regular man, just like you and I. However, Having a faith in Jesus Christ, Peter was able to walk on water just like Jesus. So let's put this uh, lesson, take this lesson into our heart. And remember, when we have faith in Jesus, we can also overcome uh, any waves, any difficulties in life. And we'll be able to do great miracle ourselves as well. Not by our, our faith or not by our power but by the power of Jesus Christ. And secondly, remember that even though Peter was able to walk on water, after he seeing a big wave, he got scared, he had doubt, and he began to drown. And we all had this problem in our life as well. So think about it, my friend. What are some, some of the kinds of waves that you have in your life that makes you scared, that makes you doubt, about having faith in Jesus. I'm sure we all have those kind of things. So um, think about what it is. And once you, uh, once you realize what it is, let's pray to God so that we could overcome our fear. We could overcome our wave. We could overcome our obstacle to continue to hold on to Jesus. Amen? Okay, this is the last point. Let's put our trust in Jesus to overcome the wave. So this is the final message that we need to put into, take it into our heart and put into practice. So we, uh, by today's story, we have learned that Jesus can walk on water. He could do a supernatural thing because Jesus is son of God. So when we put our trust in Jesus, Jesus will give us the power Jesus is going to help us to overcome the very wave that make us scared. Therefore, let's hold on to Jesus. Let's trust on Jesus and let's pray to Jesus so that Jesus can help us. Jesus can empower us to overcome uh, our difficulties in life. Amen. Okay, so let's put this, remember this fact and let's pray together. Let's do a prayer hand. Let's pray to Jesus. Lord Jesus, from today's story, we have learned that you are a son of God who are able to walk on water and who are, who are able to control the nature. 
we put our trust in you. We put our faith in you. So whenever we are faced with life trouble and waves, help us turn to you. And by having you know, a faith in you, help us overcome our life problem, uh, Lord Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, my dear brothers and sisters, let's remember today's story that Jesus is almighty, son of God, and he has a power to save us from any situation. So let's put, put our trust in Jesus and let's continue to enjoy uh, Jesus' love and blessing throughout the week. Amen. I bless you guys in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have a great week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Let's recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Whoa!